State baseball day two today in Carroll as we move on to class 2A. Unity Christian, our lone representative in this year's field, looking to stay perfect in school history in the quarterfinals. KCA Unite's Noah Sacco is at Merchants Park and has our highlights and reaction now. State baseball for class 1A and 2A is back in Carroll for the first time since 2004. Meanwhile, Unity Christian hasn't made the trip to state since 2002. But that hasn't changed the program's pursuit of their first title. And just like the weather, the team is looking to stay hot during the opening round of their second ever state appearance. Class 2A state quarterfinals. Number four, Unity Christian taking on number five, Clorinda. Bottom four, tied at twos. Runner on second for Braden Bosma, who pings one to the right center gap. Center fielder on his horse and giving full extension, laying out for the ball. But can't come up with it. Jacob Draxta moves to third on the play, but an errant throw would hop over the fence, scoring Draxta and giving Unity the 3 2 lead. Top six now, one on for the Cardinals. Tanner Shooten was solid on the mound for Unity as he gets Jared McNeese to hit a sharp grounder to second, and the 4 6 3 double play keeps the Knights in the driver's seat. Score remains 3 2. And Unity would keep adding. Bottom six, Knights up 4-2, two, two on, and after an errant throw scores one, Unity picks up two more with Eli Irwin single up the gut. That'll be good enough to score Shooten and Jacob Van Dong. Unity extends the lead 6-2. The Knights would hang on for the rest, defeating Clorinda 6-2 the final. As an eighth grader, no way I was going to be anything this good. I didn't think we'd be here. We were 6-20, and 20, and then up to this one when we are 21-7. and seven is just pretty crazy. We just said, hey, uh, doesn't really matter about anything else. you got to go 1-0 and today. So we just locked in on that, put the ball in play, be ready, don't make any errors, and just play hard. We just keep competing. We just believe that we, you know, if we keep competing and being positive in our attitudes and keep working, you know, so that shows us that we're capable of competing with a lot of people at this tournament. And, Obviously, we'll have our hands full with whoever the next opponent is. With their victory over Clorinda, the Knights advance to play the winner of Van Meter, Davis County, for the semis tomorrow night at 6 p.m. At Merchants Park, Noah Sacco, KCU 9 Sports.